Thursday, November 1st, 8 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, we're looking at a historic object that's inbound towards the inner solar system due to make a close approach with planet Earth on December 16th of 2018. We're here at earthsky.org, article dated October 30th, 2018. And the reason I'm talking about this is multiple reasons. I find this very interesting. I love space. I love the sky phenomenon. You guys know that. Number two, I had someone ask me a question a couple of days ago. They sent me a message wanting to know if this object was going to pose any problems for planet Earth or any type of issues. And I want to answer that right away, which I did answer her, and that is no. This is, however, going to be a historic passage. It's going to be in the top ten closest ever in modern times, but it won't cause any problems. But it will be possibly visible without the aid of a telescope. And let me explain. It goes on to say, have you heard about Comet 46P Wirtanen? It's approaching the inner solar system due to pass closest to our Sun and Earth in December, that's next month, of 2018. Comet Wirtanen is the brightest comet in the sky now, although that doesn't mean you can see it. Um, in fact, it's visible only to astronomers with telescopes or people that um, have decent-sized telescopes that know how to use them. And you've got to have very dark skies. That's another thing. Where I'm at, I do uh, deal with a little bit of light pollution. Not too terribly bad, but if I were to drive 30 minutes east of here, it, it's like I'm on a different planet. It is so dark, and the sky, the night sky, especially on uh, a very clear night, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It looks like the sky is just full of, of uh, jewels. It's just beautiful. Um, I may go out there. We'll have to see. Um, but right now, I'm going to try to see if we can get a look at this comet on December 16th. It will be in the south, southeastern skies. And I will keep you updated as we get closer to the date of the close approach. Closest approach to the sun will be December 12th. Closest approach to the earth will be a few days later. And by comparison, let me just share some data with you here real quick. Here are some comets and one very famous, in fact a few, but you've all heard of Halley's Comet. Okay, Halley's Comet went by the earth at what's called LD. That's one LD is the distance between the Earth and the Moon. It went past the Earth at a distance of 13.0 LD. And that would be the equivalency of 13 distances between the Earth and the Moon. So, you know, it was close, close enough to see. In fact, Halley's Comet put on quite a show. It was seen worldwide. And it was definitely a historic, if not one of the most famous comets. But it was 13 LD away. This comet here is going to be 30. Let's see if I can find it here for you. 30 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. However, that approach uh, puts it in the 10th closest of any comet in modern times. And here's the list that it's going to join here very, very soon. So it's not going to be as close as Halley. Halley was a very spectacular comet, but it's going to be close enough to see without the aid of a telescope. Here's the orbital path. You can see this one orbits every, uh, goes into the inner solar system every five years to where Halley is every 75. Halley won't be back to see us until 2062. 75 year orbit and it's probably managed by in my humble opinion the binary companion i do believe that we live in a binary star system and i think that's where a lot of these comets come from or that's where they're motivated by not necessarily this one here 46p because it's inner uh or it's uh, between jupiter and the earth but like Halley, i think it could be influenced by a binary star a lot of them could be but that's just me talking out loud, thinking out loud. I've always thought since day one that we live in a binary star system. Is it easy to go out and see it? No, I don't think it's just as easy as going out and taking a picture of the sky um, when the sun's out. But I do think we live in a binary star, star system, and we'll talk more about that later. But right now, Comet 46P is about to make a historic 
pass near planet Earth, um, visible under the right conditions without the aid of a telescope. And I'll keep you guys posted. The images you see here, they were taken uh, by astronomers with good telescopes that knew what they were doing. And it's got a, what they call a coma, that's like a cloud around the comet already. And it's only going to get bigger as it gets closer. And that's influenced by the solar wind from the sun. And when you look at a comet, you wouldn't think that you could land on something like that and get a decent picture because it almost looks kind of hostile. You know, you're seeing this fiery looking long tail and that tail's well over a million miles long. And this is where the object is at. So you wouldn't think that you would be able to get any type of a picture in an environment like that, right? Well, here recently, they just landed on this comet here, 67P, and that's what it looks like. You know, it's a pretty good sized comet. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how big, but you don't get that perception when you look at that, do you? In fact, it's quite the opposite. But that's what it looks like. That's the surface of a real comet. You know, so they just landed on this here recently. And this one here, uh, Haley, I don't know if it's, it's probably big enough to land on. I think Haley was a mile and a half wide or something like that. The Comet 46P, I don't think it's big enough to land on. I'm not exactly sure of the specs. I'm going to try to find out before we can uh, possibly see it here in December. It's pretty good size, but I don't think it's as big as Haley. But anyway, close approach, inbound object headed towards the inner solar system. Rendezvous with planet Earth on December 16th of 2018. And we'll be ready out here in Southeast Phoenix. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.